part of the community. Um, our current restore over in uh, Evergreen uh, just to celebrate, or is about to celebrate, just celebrated its fourth year. Uh, out of that store, we built three and a half houses uh, in that time period. Um, our main mission is to end poverty housing. Um, so a Habitat house goes in, it, it transforms lives. Uh, somebody that didn't have a chance to get out of poverty situation because of a high rent, they're basically spending somewhere 80, you know, 75 to 90 percent of their income towards the rent, basically. The Habitat man, uh, model allows us to go in there with volunteers to do most of the work for the house. And then the homeowners walk, uh, go side by side with staff and volunteers to help build their home. Uh, our homeowners do about 300 hours of sweat equity, uh, and uh, they own their house. Uh, they earn their house. Uh, and so that brings that rent rate down to about 20 to 30 percent. A nice, healthy portfolio for somebody that's trying to get on their feet. Uh, just uh, Christmas Eve last year, we signed the paperwork for two families. Um, uh, a, a lady with uh, a boy, Titus, who's five, and then a couple who have three little, three little kids. A lot of people misconstrue that Habitat does it only for families. We actually have single uh, individuals in some of our houses. Actually, last spring, Elizabeth Gonzalez has a house over in um, Brook Forest. So, um, so uh, that's a little bit about, about Habitat. I'll tell, I'll let Jason explain what his experience has been with Habitat. He actually is a transplant. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm Jason Strong. I'm the manager of uh, the uh, this uh, Conifer Restore. I got my start with Habitat for Humanity Restores probably about. 2006 uh, in Columbus, Ohio. I was a student at Ohio State University. Um, took a break from classes, did a year with AmeriCorps. But, but. We'll forgive you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, just love the concept. You know, this is all donated. This, these are things that um, otherwise might be filling up landfills. Um, and we're giving it to, we're giving it a new purpose. Um, people donate it. We're raising money to help build houses here in the community. Um, and saving you upwards of 75 percent off of yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, my story. Yeah, I worked for um, the restores in Columbus, Ohio, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Always wanted to live in Colorado. Um, we were coming out here for vacation, so kind of shot in the dark. I sent a resume. I said, please keep me in mind if anything comes up, and here you came are. up. <laughs> um, so here I am, and it's. Uh, an unbelievable community. Um, like I said, if you look around, this is all, you know, this is what the community's done. This has, has, isn't me. You know, I unlocked the door. <laughs> and people bring this in for the mission. So uh, it's a wonderful community. Uh, absolutely love living here. Um, the store's been doing pretty well for this time of year. Uh, again, you know, the community's really gotten behind it. Um, uh, yeah, most of uh, what we raise here does stay local. Um, to build, uh, we have three houses coming up next year we're building, or this year, excuse me, yep. um, that we'll be building. And, but some of the money we do, um, we uh, tithe to Habitat for Humanity International, and they use it globally. So, uh, you know, you buy a couch, you're helping put someone in a house here in Conifer, and also maybe someone in Ecuador or... Yeah, locally, you know. we've been able to put 32 families into homes nation or uh, worldwide. We've been able to put in over 70 families in, just our little affiliate. Yeah, well, that's just here. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I have two Habitat houses in my yes. neighborhood, yep. mm -hmm. in Brook Forest Estates, yep. up, up there. So I got to watch the last one right on, uh, what is it, a Aspen? Uh -huh. uh, that was the Aspen White. Yep. I got to watch that one build. So that was fun. Yep. You guys do great work. So mm -hmm. great it's all about Community yes. Yeah, I mean, it's a community that does it, you know, yeah. it's volunteers, donations, you know, the uh, money and uh, furniture, building materials that go to Evergreen sure. Restore. I, I can't even tell you how proud of that house the lady is that, I, I don't know if she has kids, I haven't really gotten to meet them yet. But she's the single family. I mean, her, yeah, the purple house with the sun and stuff on it, she's just really taken huge pride in that house, you know, and like, at first, everybody's going, oh, I don't want another neighbor around me, you know. <laughs> yeah, she, she's really done something with it. You can just see how proud she is. So. Yeah, well, like Brian was saying, I mean, it, it changes lives. I mean, it's, uh, um, you know, I've been with this organization for 
almost 10 years um, off and on. And yet, you know, to see someone struggling in uh, substandard housing, which isn't the whole issue, but, you know, we help them get, get on track financially and get them, um, um, get them a much better uh, uh, mortgage payment and, you know, get them into a, a nice place that's their own. Right. That if they want to change the walls, or you know, they can do whatever they want to. And for some people, that's the completely foreign idea. So sure. it is, it's very transformational. You should live in new apartments and stuff. You know, Absolutely it's possible yeah. for it out of home. And then, as a part of the, the keystone is that, that mortgage payment. But actually, we, we have an educational series that goes along the life of recruiting somebody for a habitat home, and then also keeping them in the habitat home. Mm -hmm. You know, how to how to save, how to buy the right food. You know, how how can you Especially, it's a very emotional transition for a family, for an individual, and so we have this uh, bridges out of poverty that explains, you know, what, why we have different um, economics, you know, socioeconomics, and, and what does this class do, and what is this is different, and we try to break down the myths so that it's easier for them to understand. Hey, I can go and do, I can start my own job. Hazel and her son Titus just got in their house. She, she utilized a lot of area services. Um, and it was amazing how the community came together uh, for her. But she stepped out and she really built the capacity on her own to one, earn her house, but she also to provide that, you know, Is a standard of living for her son. On Aspen, Titus, and? Uh, no, on Aspen Way is Elizabeth Gonzalez, okay. yeah. Um, any questions about Habitat? I know there's there's some misconception out there that Jimmy Carter, you know, is he running us some of that stuff. He's actually is he coming to town? He, <laughs> he actually helped um, our Denver affiliate build 30 houses in a week. So it was phenomenal. He he's such a great leader, uh, and he's done a phenomenal job. I, I don't know if there's a single member in Habitat other than the founders that has helped not only you know build how many houses he did on his own, but also the tracked how many volunteers and infused habitat. I mean, right now we're building a house every five and a half minutes worldwide. Wow. And that's been a phenomenal yeah. that's, that's well Jimmy and then also some help from uh, the new CEO. Hey Brian, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Habitat is the largest home builder in the world. Oh my it's world, up there. worldwide, yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, Nation, I, I, nationwide I, I, I believe worldwide TV. Yeah. I believe it actually yeah. is. Yeah. I think yeah. we're over um, it's since the founding in 1976, um, just 78, 78. What yep. uh, no, it's 76. 76, sorry. Um, he, uh, uh, we're just this year, year before, over 800,000 800, houses. Uh, we'll worldwide. do our million, million house in Georgia next spring. And it's increasing exponentially. I mean, you know, what the first year, I think, was... Um, what, uh, the, when they set down their goal was, um, um, I think, 100,000 houses, and at the time it was that was outrageous. Now, about once a year, it's 100,000, and it's incre it's speeding up. So it's That's cool. it's definitely picking up. That's great, guys. Well, welcome to Conifer, and <laughs> yeah. 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 pleased to have you guys. If you need anything from the chamber, just let us know. Well, Call Melissa. <laughs> <laughs>